With CapCut you can easily create effects like this. I'll show you where to find the best pro sound effects and cool transitions, all using the Aegis I Want It All bundle, which is on a huge Black Friday discount right now. I'll also share my favorite editing packs, so let's jump into the first tutorial, how to make Apple style text animation. To create this text animation, start by downloading the Apple font. You'll find the download link in the description and it is free. Once downloaded, right click to extract the file, then open it. Click install and after that close the window and open CapCut. First, let's add a background. I'll use a black stock background, you can use any background you like and add it to the timeline. After selecting the background, go to the text tab and add default text to the timeline. Now adjust the duration of the text and background to your preference. The next thing we will do is to click on the text, type the desired word and then select the font we recently installed on the right side under the system fonts. Once we finish that, we will right click on the text and select create compound clip. The next thing we will do is to add right sound effects. I'll be using the Aegis Sound Effects Pro Pack, which is included in the I Want It All bundle. If you're using the free version, you can find the sound effects in the Sound Effects Free Pack. By choosing the I Want It All bundle, you'll get the Pro Sound Effects Pack and over 100 editing packs to take your videos to the next level and also help support my channel. This pack offers many high quality sound effects, here are a few examples. For this animation we are creating, we'll need a whoosh sound effect. Click the download button to get one you like. Now go back to CapCut, import the sound effect from its folder, then add it to the timeline. If needed you can trim the first part just like I did. Next click on the compound clip, then go to the video tab and select the mask sub tab. After that choose the horizontal mask, rotate it like I did and then adjust this arrow to create a fade effect. Position it on the left side like this and then add a keyframe at the point where the sound effect starts. After that at the point where the sound effect ends, move the mask like I did. After editing, the text animation should look like this. Now I'm going to show you the packs I use for cool transitions. First up is the Cyberpunk Transitions pack, packed with awesome transitions. Just click the download button and you're all set to use them. Next is the Neon Analog Glitch pack, which has awesome effects that were great as transitions. After downloading, I just drag them into CapCut and place them on the timeline between my clips. You can experiment with blend mods and choose the one that works best for your video. I chose the screen blend mode because it makes the darker parts transparent. After that, I like to download the glitch sound effects from the Sound Effects Pro Pack and add them to the timeline. Here is how my video looks after adding the transitions and sound effects. The next packs from the I Want It All bundle that I find really useful are the animated backgrounds packs. They offer so many animated backgrounds that are perfect for video intros, making even basic text look professional. Animated backgrounds are great for making your videos look more dynamic and keeping your audience engaged. Here is an example of intro from one of my previous videos. I used the glass morphism background which looks awesome. In this video you will learn how to create 3 incredible video effects using CapCut. You can see the list along with the timestamps for each effect right here. Now I'm going to show you one of my favorite packs, the Magic Powers effects. It offers a variety of special effects that will give your videos the same magical feel as the best fantasy movies. I'll open the pack and then use this shield effect as a portal in my video. You can have fun and experiment with the effects however you like. I'll import the effect I downloaded into CapCut and then add my video to the timeline. Before editing, my video looks like this. Now I'll show you how I add the shield effect in my video. First, I'll add it to the timeline. Then on the right side I'll set screen blend mode to make the black areas transparent. After that I'll position it where it looks best. The next step is to add the original video on the top of the other videos in the timeline and remove its background. 
After that, we can select the shield clip and in the adjustment tab, increase the brightness and highlights to make the effect look even better. If you decide to get the I want it all bundle, you'll get access to these effects and many more to level up your videos and speed up your editing. Just check the link in the description to see all the packs included and which editing software they are compatible with for lifetime use. Plus, by purchasing, you're supporting my channel. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like and drop a comment telling me which Aegis pack you like the most.